you'd like to make better Instagram reels using Mobavi, stick around. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create a trendy vertical video so that you can get started showing off that latest and greatest footage. Let's go. Okay, so to begin, pick out your favorite photos and video clips, as well as any special song you wanna use, and bring it all right here into the media bin. Next, let's go ahead and highlight everything in the media bin and drop it right down onto the timeline like this. Now before we do any editing, let's first come over here below the preview window and change our project's aspect ratio to 916. 916 is that vertical aspect ratio that we'll want to use for projects such as Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and other social media platforms like that. Now that we've got that set, the next thing we'll want to do is quickly scan through our images and video clips for any black bars. Hopefully you shot most of your footage vertically, but just in case, if you find that your aspect ratio is off a bit, we can simply crop in on the picture to fill the frame. Now normally, I'd crop each clip one at a time just to preserve the best part of the image, but there's also a faster way too, and I'll show you that right now. To crop everything all at once, we can simply highlight all the clips in the timeline like this, head over to the tools icon, open up the crop tool, and click apply. And there, just like that, all the images are sized right with no more black bars. Okay, now that we got everything sized properly for that vertical video, let's drop down to the audio track to turn up this music so that we're left with only the part of the song that we actually want for our reel. So I'm just gonna play a little bit of this song real quick. Okay, right there. Right where that bass came in, let's begin the reel with that part of the song. And we'll do this by trimming away everything preceding the first bass hit. So let's scale in a bit on the timeline and now we can clearly see the beginning of this audio waveform. I'll go ahead and trim it right up to the very beginning of that beat, like this. Perfect. Now let's grab this music track and reposition it to the beginning of the project timeline. And we're ready to go. You can follow this exact same process for the end of the song too. For slideshow type reels, I like to carefully trim the end of the music so that if the video loops and starts playing again, the music plays seamlessly as if the video had never ended. There's actually an easy way to test this. Just copy and paste your music track, then place them side by side like this. If trimmed properly, the end of the first music track should smoothly transition into the beginning of the copied version. Let's have a listen. I think that sounds pretty good. Now, let's get this project ready for some photos. So, let's highlight our music track, head over to the More Tools icon, click Audio Editing, and select Beat Detection. Once we have beat detection opened up, let's click Detect Audio Beats. Now if we take a look down here at the timeline, we can see these little blue beat markers have been added. These little blue beat markers are indicating where the beats are in the song. By adjusting the slider bar up here like this, we can increase or decrease the amount of time between beat markers. So if you want your Instagram reel to flip through photos quickly, be sure to adjust this to give yourself plenty of beat markers to work with. Okay, and now that we have beat detection turned on, let's begin adjusting the duration of our photos. So let's first scale in a bit on our timeline, then we'll select this first clip in our sequence by grabbing the end of it like this and dragging it in until we see it attached to one of our preferred beat markers like this. And that's it. Now we can select the second clip and again, adjust it by dragging to the next preferred beat. Repeat this process a few more times and then watch it back to see how it looks. This part of the editing process is a lot of fun because this is where you, the editor, get to be creative. So don't be afraid to shuffle things around, guess a little bit, and most importantly, listen to the song and let the music be your guide. Okay, so when we get to the end of the song, we'll wanna make sure that we shorten or extend the last photo or video clip to match. Now I'm gonna play a few seconds to kinda give you an idea of what it looks like so far. This is looking good, but I think it would be better if these photos weren't looking so different from one another. So to give this reel a bit more of a cohesive look, I'm going to highlight all these video clips like this, add a nice LUT, and touch it up a bit more using the color adjustment tool. If you want to learn more about color grading or LUTs in Movavi, I've made videos going over both of these topics, and I'll link to them in the description below. Now let's quickly go over how to export a vertical video. So if we click export and then advanced, we can adjust any export settings we'd like. And based on my research, the settings that I've input here are the preferred video format settings for Instagram Reels. One thing I'd like to add is that by clicking OK, we'll return to the normal export window. 
and right down here, we'll see an estimated file size after export. It's recommended to keep the file size under 15 MB to reduce upload time. Once we have these export settings filled in, we'll give this a title real quick and then hit start to begin our export. For more information on transferring your video from your computer over to Instagram, I'll leave a few notes as well as some other good information down in the video description. Okay, now that you know how to create a vertical video for Instagram Reels, you really need to click this video right here to watch my complete guide on how to create an amazing photo slideshow in Movavi. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.